Welcome to Flourish. I'm your host, Diane Planadan, and you are in the right place if you're ready to create an inspired life and flourish and blossom and bloom and really thrive. And the reason you want to do that, we all want to do that, is because we need to set the bar for those we influence, those we imprint upon, those being the next generation, because it leads to their success. Now, today, I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted to keep it positive. I wanted to talk about imagination. And the one guy I always think about when it comes to imagination is Einstein. He has a very, very famous quote, and it goes like this. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world encircles the world. Remember, we are creative beings. We love to think, we love to learn, we love to expand our minds. And in order to do that, we have to also believe in ourselves. So do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you can create an inspired life? and live a life that you choose to live. This is where the imagination comes in super handy because it's not just for scientists, it's not just for inventors, it's for everyday life. If you believe that you can succeed, it will come true. And the reason I say that is because there has been numerous studies about this. There has been generation after generation talking about this, and this is nothing new. However, we have to constantly remind ourselves of this, and especially after the year that the whole world has been through, the whole world, nobody's been alone on this one uh, path, have they? Imagination encircles the world. So together, we can create a brighter future. We can create the change that we want. And it doesn't happen overnight. And that's the one thing you have to remember. It doesn't happen overnight. I mean, think about it. When you are born, it takes time to learn to eat, learn to walk, learn to talk. And you do that by constantly practicing. As you get older, you're learning new things and doing new things. And that's why, in as much as the school system is mm, not perfect, it actually works because it builds every year on your knowledge. It builds and it helps you grow further and further along. And honestly, there's no end to that. You always can keep learning, keep growing, keep doing, keep being. And the reason you need to do that for yourself and believe in yourself is that we are able to make rational and irrational decisions. So imagination, think about when you're dreaming, when you're sleeping and you have a vivid dream and oh, you get startled awake and you think that's real. But then your rational self goes, nah, I was just dreaming, or that was a nightmare, whatever it happens to be. But that's the power of your imagination. And when you think back, when you remember your dreams, you think like, oh, wow, where did that come from? Oh, yeah, that scary movie I watched before bed. <laughs> Not a good idea. But because we are rational beings, we can decipher what is true and isn't true. And I came up with uh, three little points about that. Ask yourself, when you are encountering something and you think, oh, that is just crazy. That person did this, that, and the other thing. I mean, I had a friend that actually made an entire story up in their mind about another person that was absolutely false but they just worried themselves. And you can worry yourself sick. You really can. So use your imagination for a greater power. Be rational. 
Do you believe what you're seeing? Do you believe what you're saying? Because either way, you are right. Either way, whatever you tell yourself, you are going to believe. So dig in when your imagination goes wild down the wrong path and really pull out your rationality and decide, am I being irrational? Was that true? It helps you thrive and grow. And, and children are amazing at this. And you can really help your children, help your students, help those you mentor by telling them how to understand what they're thinking, how they're coming across these things. Because uh, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. If, let's say you're thinking that somebody is out to get you, right? Or is trying to manipulate you. Is that your imagination? Is that your insight? Is that your intuition? Ask yourself if you're being rational or irrational. And the reason I wanted to say that is because would you come to the same conclusion about someone else? You know, you look at someone and you think you know all about them. Yeah, nothing. Maybe surface, maybe 10%. So maybe you're mistaken. Maybe that bully out there is actually uh, not a bully because they want to be a bully, but because it's the only way they know to get someone's attention. Because they are so angry, whatever is happening in their lives, and that could be at home, that they have to take it out on somebody else because they have nowhere to vent. Start observing, watching people, and just delve into that. You know, I did 18 episodes on human nature and discussed Robert Greene's book in detail and every single thing you've ever wanted to know about why people do what they do is in that book and it's in those episodes. So I would invite you to take a look at that playlist and, and see if there's something that can help you. So decide if you're going to believe what's true. Decide what your imagination is telling you because it can go either way. And that's why imagination is more important than knowledge because it can take you to the next level higher or it can also bring you down because now you've just made things up in your mind. Very, very powerful stuff. And next week, I'm actually going to demonstrate and explain the vision board and why it works, how it works, and how you can create your own vision for the future. Because guess what? We are all born with a gift. We are all born with purpose. And life's journey is to hone and develop that gift. As your purpose will change within, your path will change, and you have to be able to adjust to your future and live an inspired life make sure you hit that subscribe button it would super help me out and share the show with someone you know i'm wishing you a very peaceful day <laughs>